and welcome back everyone, welcome back to another week, another edition of the Wardy TV Monday number 10, your weekly dose of Open StarCraft. I'm of course your host, Live VIP. with me, I'm joined by the people in the chat, by these amazing players, and by my plushies as well. Welcome one and all to another weekly Open Cup. Now, as a reminder, this is not on the PTR, this is on the current patch with the current map pool, and... If you wish, you can have a look at the bracket yourselves. The bracket is live, the bracket is stacked, and we are jumping into our first series and spawning in the top left-hand corner of Golden Aura. We have the French Protoss, oh, sorry, the Korean Protoss player, the Blue Protoss representing Blacklist International. It is Creator. And spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, we have Zmoto. We have the French Protoss, the Red Protoss, representing himself and his old clan Alpha X. It is Arog Fire. And if you're in the chat, you know what time it is. It's time to get your gambler going. Predictions are open. Place your bets on who you think will take the series. Best of luck. Best of luck in the chat. Whew, as we can settle in. And ah. <laughs> I was just uh, I was just live on my personal channel. I was laddering. Ah, a sm smudge ladder session as always. As always. Oh no. Not like this. I'll I'll try to I'll try to brighten the mood. We'll jump into our tournament cast. Ah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I am tempted to ladder after the stream, after the cast. Not gonna lie, I'm tempted. Like I, I feel, I feel very unsatisfied. <laughs> As you can imagine, I laddered for like three hours. I didn't play a single macro game. Like not, not a single one. It was just, just non-stop defending against cannon rushes, cheese, all ins. Like it was not. I'm not satisfied. <laughs> so, so I might ladder later. We'll see. We'll see how awake I am. We'll see how I feel. For now, we're focusing on our PvP. For now, two gate opener. It's gonna be. Oh, never mind. My apologies. It is gonna be a two gate opener out of Creator, but Arrow Fire going for a gate into a Cyber Core. You have my attention. You have my attention here again. Arrow Fire. He's not as active as he used to be. He used to be a lot more active in the online tournament space. He used to be playing in all these online weeklies. Uh, then he took a bit of a break from the game, and now Arrow Fire. It does feel like he's more of a part-time player nowadays, but still a very strong player in his own right. And I'm curious how he goes about this. Basically, what he's going for is the Max Packs opener gate into Cybercore. Double gas means typically a faster Stargate into a Nexus. So. Arrow Fire doing his best Max Packs impression. Creator does confirm this, and the question becomes, does Creator try to punish this? Does he attempt to punish? As the Nexus is about to be thrown down, Arrow Fire just waiting for a couple of extra minerals here. Oh! Ooh. There's a final block just in time! And the Nexus is going to be slightly delayed here. Still no Stargate, so Arrow Fire, it looks like he was going to try to go for the Nexus before the Stargate, and he was still wants to, by the way. There's in a pylon. Pylon blocks across the map as well. And oh, there it is. There, oh, there is that Nexus. So very greedy, very greedy build up by Arrow Fire. And again, it's on Creator to punish. He is moving out with Adepts, but only with Adepts. There's no proxy, right? There's no, pi there's no pylon across the map. There's no probe. There's no proxy setup. So Creator is just going to try to slow down the economy as best he can with this Adept Harass. The Adepts have arrived. Back at him, Creator getting his own Nexus. Because of the Pylon block, the Nexus timing are quite similar with each other. So very nicely done here with the Pylon block. Adepts say shade into the main. There's nothing in position. Ooh, there's no wall. There is no wall. Adepts say do bust in. Probe's going to be going down. And this is brutal. This is a brutal start. At the same time, we do see one Adept getting into the main base of Creator, but it's only one Adept. It does pose that much less of a threat. And that's going to be four, five, up to six, up to seven Probe kills. Ooh, yeah, the shade is canceled. Seven, eight. Nine probes going down. This is borderline game ending damage. This is brutal. And uh, now the pressure is on Arc Fire. He has to bounce back in some way, shape, or form. Nine probe kills in total. Ay, ay, ay. A very rough start. And remember, he delayed his Stargate. He delayed his Stargate. Instead, he's going for a Twilight Council follow up. Instead, we do see the faster Twilight Council from Creator. So, Creator, he's up in probes. He's ahead in tech, and he's looking good. He is looking quite strong here, quite in control. And we do have additional gateways on the way. It's going to be the second of the third gateway. Basically, we're keeping our eye open for a fourth gate, like a fourth gateway or maybe a proxy gateway across the map. We'll see if Arrow Fire turns this into a two base all in. After taking all those losses early on, that's kind of what I'm keeping my eye out for. Otherwise, Arrow Fire, he might just try to be greedy. Take a fast third, right? How do you catch up? Take a fast third Nexus to try to take an economic lead. Um, he could also try to go for a fast tech, like a Dark Shrine, you know, DTs, or maybe fast Robo into Disruptors. We'll see what direction Arrow Fire does take us in. As behind this creator still maintains his lead. Happily probing up. Has yet to throw down any extra gateways or a forge himself. 
Not yet. Did you see the creator? He's looking for proxies. <laughs> I don't blame him. He scattered bottom left. Now he's scattering top right. Creator just making sure that everything's on the up and up. And ooh, does he take a third? Does he expand? It looks like he will. He has the money for it. Greedy move here by creator. He's already ahead. And now he's looking to maintain that lead. Takes a third. At the same time, our choir looking to do the same. Hallucination does confirm the lack of Robo, the lack of extra gateways. Creator throws down his own Robo behind this, and Arrowfire should soon throw down a third. Oh, Probe is getting ready. Huh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> third is on the way. So Arrowfire, he's not going all in. He is not going all in. He did end up spending resources on a third gateway, though, and that is why well, that kind of led into one of the reasons why his throw base was delayed compared to Creator. Creator feeling confident, now getting into his own gateway explosion. Uh, that slight gateway explosion. And he can settle in from here. Now, in something like a mirror matchup, it can be difficult to recover, but Blink Stalk is a very mobile. You know, now that Blink is coming into play, uh, our fire can still try to outposition Creator, get into a mineral line, get into the main base, pick off some key units. There is still a lot of micro and comeback potential here for our fire um, as we do move out. The armies are about to clash. Oh! Our nice blinks you out of creator doesn't lose anything yet neither does our fire as the armies do clash adept's gonna be harassing it towards the left hand side creator focusing on the on trying to push in towards the third trying to distract our fire and he's taking taking into a forge into charge into plus one adept's a shade into the natural creator he does back up adept's a shade in they are one adept so far nice force field oh but they get two probes not quite three though Thankfully. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. And it looks like the sentries got picked off here. So, Arrowfire, he gets a couple of nice pickoffs. Gets the adepts, gets the sentries. Doesn't lose too much back at home. But Creator, again, he's taking that further step forward here by getting into charge and throwing down more gateways. The pressure is on Arrowfire. Does move out for a counterattack. Gets into the mineral line. Gets a probe. Does come down to the control. Guardian shield is activated. Behind this creator, does have his own shield battery. Now, require he does respect it. There's the overcharge. Overcharge gets spent. Now, require pulling away. Uh, Arrowfire, he has chosen not to take into into charge. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, he hasn't taken into charge. Now he is. Charge now on the way. Creator moving out. Uh, the prism is exposed. A uh, big blunder there from Creator. Nice night from Arakfire. He does get the prism. That means no Zeller reinforcements. Creator, I mean, that would have been a brutal timing. He could have actually broken this position if these delts were here across the map. So massive delay here on the reinforcements. And Arakfire, he's recovering. Getting a fourth. Delays the push. And now it can stabilize. Again, that was huge. Like, if those Zealot reinforcements had hit then and there, it would have been a very different kind of game state. Arrowfire going for a counterattack. Creator, he misses the main army. Coming in from behind, gets a couple of free Zealots. War Prism is rebuilt. Joining the main army of Creator. Both players have their Prism. Plus one is finishing up for both players as well. Charge on the way for Arrowfire. It's almost done. A very delicate micro here from Creator. Trying not to overstand. Zelsa hit the fourth. And Creator, he's diving in quite deep here. Trying to catch out part of the army. Prism is siege. More reinforcements on the way. And does Creator have enough? It's going to be close. He's getting surrounded. Uh, at the same time, Zelta putting in a lot of work. So many Stalkers going down from the side of Arrowfire. The Zelta just go him. Oh, my God. <laughs> they go him. And Arrowfire, his army crumbles. And the, the power of charge lots. Once they arrive, once they hit the field, they completely overwhelm the Stalker army of Arrowfire. Now he's falling behind. Uh, 12 workers going down. Arrowfire, he almost did stabilize. Almost. But barely didn't quite get there. Needed a little bit more time. GG gets cold. And Creator will take game number one. GG.
GG, well played. Creator does take a lead in the series. And uh, with that, we'll see if Arrowfire can bounce back. Again, it was just a really rough start for Arrowfire. It's one of those things where um, in a mirror matchup, it, it can be difficult to bounce back from an early game deficit. Uh, we spoke about it, but the double Adept Harass killing nine probes was brutal. And from there, that's why Creator had, was able to saturate his third base that much faster. He got a faster third. He got faster charge, faster uh, upgrades as well. Faster production. Like, everything was, like, one step ahead. Like, slightly ahead in favor of Creator. Um... Which is why Eric Fire just needed a little bit more time. And it was doing well, right? Like, sniping the War Prism was a huge moment for him. But he needed a little bit more there. Last GG. GG, well played. With that, we're getting into game number two. Happy Independence Day. Oh, share my papi. Happy Independence Day. In Poland, I imagine, question mark? Yo, is it that time of the year to watch, to watch Will Smith? Beat back aliens? Is that? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh no. Hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoy yourselves. As we're getting into game number two and spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Oceanborn, we have the South Korean Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Blacklist International, leading the series one to zero. It is a creator. And spawning in the top left-hand corner, we have his opponent. We have the French Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing his old clan, Alpha X. It is Arog Fire. Now, does he go for the gate expand again? Does he cut corners for the second game in a, in a row? Does he try to rush into a faster expansion? My eyes are on Arog Fire. Probe Scout is moving out for both players. Both players will be scouting. We do have our double gases. We're waiting for our next step here. There's a second gateway. This time for Arrow Fire and Creator. Okay, so Arrow Fire, he did have some fun last game, cutting corners and trying to go for a fast nexus. He was punished. In the end, he was punished for it. And now he has reverted back to something a little bit more standard, something more normal. Okay. Calming things down. Oh, never mind. I mean, it is a more normal start. It is going to be a two-gate opener here, but the second pylon is missing, and the creator does confirm. The second pylon is nowhere to be found. We have found it here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. So Alec Fire, he's committing to a proxy. This not, would not be a bad location for a proxy Stargate. Um, just because, you know, you can get across the map by air. The probe is sticking around. Cybercore just finished, and it is the Stargate. So proxy Stargate by Arrow Fire. This is not an all-in. This is just a way to get ahead economically. You go into one, maybe two Oracles, bust into the main, and wreak havoc in the mineral line. If Creator misreads this, then Creator will not be in position to defend. For now, again, Creator, he knows that the pylon is not in the main, so he's looking. He's searching for the pylon. He checks the natural, going up towards the third, checking the linear fourth base, and checking the top side of the map. Does he move out with a second probe, though? That's usually the case. We'll see which direction Creator goes in. He's keeping his stalker back at home. Still looking for the proxy. Adepts are moving out, so it's going to be Adepts on the ground and Oracles in the sky. And Creator, he has to try to, you know, make some assumptions at this point. He does confirm that there is a Nexus, so he knows it's not a one base all in. He knows it's not a Robo, which means the likelihood of it being a Stargate is that much higher. It is quite high. Shield battery in the low ground, and shade into the main! Yeah, Creator, he was laser to wall off. So far, two probe kills. Not bad getting a third probe as well. Adepts are cleaned up. Creator, he's moving in position to defend his natural. Once again, there's nothing in the main. Yeah, he has not kind of, he's not been able to figure this out. Oracle's diving in. Creator, he's not quite ready for this. No shield battery, no stalkers. Probes are getting picked up. Oh, that's going to be two, three. Oh my god, up to six, up to seven, including the Adept Harass earlier. Eight probes. Eight probes going down. And just like that, Arrow Fire takes a massive worker lead. Now, 
bear this in mind though creator does have a second nexus so he's making two probes at a time creator he can recover but i would give the edge to our choir as he has a second oracle the first one is still alive he can go back in and two oracles they can one shot probes the shield battery means nothing it does nothing two three four probe kills and again, it all just came down to the early game. It all just came down to the proxy. Uh, creator, he assumed it was something different. He was able to confirm it wasn't a robo earlier, but it is a little bit on Creator to cut corners and not be ready in the main. He knew that it was a possibility, but he chose to ignore it. And alas, was punished. And now Creator might just be all in. And what I mean by that is that the Oracles are about to hit the natural. And once again, there's going to be zero saturation at the natural base. As two more probes go down, and it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing for Creator. There's a shield battery, there's Nova Charge. Breaking this natural is not going to be easy. But he can force field. Does force field the ramp. Uh, tries to take down the shield battery. Hallucination does tank a couple of shots. But Creator, he's running out of steam. He's running out of units. The force fields weren't bad, but he only has two stalkers down to one. GG gets called Arrow Fire. He holds, and we are going to the ace match. GG. Oh, GG, well played. Arakfire, again, he gambled a little bit by going for the proxy Stargate, um, but he was able to get one over on Creator. Again, Creator, he misread the game state. He knew that the pylon was missing. He knew that it was somewhere, but he didn't find it, and he... he gambled basically he just gambled he assumed i would i would assume that maybe he thought it was just a fake proxy pylon right which is you know a thing in this game um which is a thing in pvp so it looks like he assumed it was just a fake proxy pylon and he just played standard and in the end did lose far too much and with that going to the ace match let's go let us go Up next, we have a Ghost River. Again, a very small map. If either player wanted to go for an all-in, then this would be the map for it. We'll see who decides to pull the trigger. As spawning in the top right-hand corner of Ghost River, we have the South Green Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Blacklist International. Being forced into the ace match, can he bring it back? It is Creator. And spawning in the top left-hand corner, we have, we have the French Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing his old clan, Alpha X. It is Arrowfire. Here we go. Okay, we have our PvP. We have our ace match. It all ends here. It all ends on Ghost River. And does anyone go for a proxy pylon? Does anyone commit to an all-in? Does anyone risk it in the ace match? That's the that's the better question. <laughs> oh no. For now, probe scouts across the map. They will pass by each other. And we'll see if either player tries to tries to cut any corners. Second gateway for creator. Our fire. No, it's going for this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Bit of a more delayed second gateway, but second gateway nonetheless. Arrow fire, he's being active. And uh, yeah, I'm not opposed to a fake proxy pylon. So the pylon is being thrown down. And I'm pretty sure this time Arrow fire, he won't commit to anything. But we'll see. I mean, in this position, he could still go Stargate again. Two games in a row. Could go for a Stargate. I would not be... I was going to say that I'm not really too in love with the idea of a proxy robo in this position. It is pretty far away. In saying that, I'm pretty sure we have seen proxy robo here before. So I think it is viable. But, um... I mean, the probe is sticking around. The probe is still here. Oh! What's it going to be? The robo. Okay, one base all in. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, that's why I was on the fence about being like, oh, is it going to be the proxy robot? Like, we've seen it here before. And this works just because how small the map is. The map is so small, so even though the robot is a little bit far out of the way, it can still work out well here for our fire. Now, Creator, once again, he confirms the pylon is missing. He knows it's missing, and this time he takes it seriously. This time he moves out with two probes. Not just one here in the center, but a second on the right-hand side. 
He's looking for the typical proxy locations for a Stargate. But he hasn't found anything yet. He should be checking behind the mineral patches here on his half of the map. But will he check over here is the problem. Uh, creator, he plays safe. Robo. Creator, he doesn't know what's going on, but he does go for a Robo opener. Very safe play from Creator, and this is going to work out well for him. It's going to work nicely. That's the Stalkers. They do rotate around. Engaging with the army. No force field, but I mean, uh, yeah, Creator, he is being overpowered. Here comes the Immortal. Now Creator knows. Now he confirms. Ooh. Yeah, Brutal Pigos, he loses one Stalker. Gonna lose another? Uh, this is this is insane. Two Stalkers go down for free. Massive Pigos and Creator, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Shield batteries are on the way. Creator, he has to race back home. We'll see if Creator can survive this. Does have force fields. Does have his own defensive immortal because of the Robo. So despite losing two Stalkers, like he can still hold on. He can try. War Prism has arrived, so Arrow Fire, he can try to just, yeah, try to ferry into the main. Leaf Rogue in the, into the main. <gasps> Creator, he doesn't see! No shot! No, he doesn't see, Fabi! He's in the dark. Here comes the unload. And yeah, we dive on the shield battery. The immortal's under fire. Boys are being pulled. One immortal goes down. But the second comes out just in time. And creator, he's holding. Yeah, he is holding on. Going for the prism. Prism, one more volley. Up. Oh, oh, does get picked up. And creator holds. Creator holds. Now, no more high ground vision. No more reinforcements. Second immortal has arrived. But our party lost a lot there in that, in that attack. And he's getting ready to expand. He's getting ready to expand and transition out of this. It looks like he knows he cannot kill his opponent. Building up resources. There it is. There's the Nexus. So the Olin, in a sense, have, has failed from Arrow Fire, but he can still recover. He can still try to contain his opponent and then get ahead economically. Speaking of getting ahead, Adepts a shade into the main. They get three probes. Oh, four. Four probes go down. War Prism gets spotted. Our fire, he should be aware. Hope, hopefully, he did see it. He's getting ready in his main. Trying to push further in. Stalkers are ready. Ah, but he doesn't really have much to work with. He's actually going for the War Prism. Prism survives. Creator, he can take this fight. Phoenix going for the prison. Oh, never mind. Going for the Stalker. Our require he will defend. And across the map, he gets a gateway. Nice control here out of Our Fire. Controlling very nicely here across the map. Defends his main. Here, creator, he is at least holding onto his main base, but he's falling behind. He's falling behind. Probe count now getting higher and higher in favor of Arrow Fire. And things are looking bleak for the Korean Protoss. The uh, longer this goes on, the worse it is. And he will soon break out, but now there are Phoenixes. The Stargate was thrown down earlier, and now we're getting to Mass Phoenix. They can shut down the War Prism. They can uh, crowd control some of these immortals. They can lift them up and pick them up. Arrow Fire is all over this. And I'll, I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time seeing a, a way out of this for Creator. I was trying to break out of it. So now the supply block. <laughs> supply block is brutal for both players, but it's hurting Creator that much more. Because they check for any further attack, like a Robotics Bay or a Dark Shrine. 
and yeah, as long as the Arrow Fire plays this out well, Creator, he's stuck. Prism moves out, barely gets away. Arrow Fire does not spot the War Prism. He's not aware. Creator is going for the Robo. Uh, this might force Arrow Fire to respond and pull back. Let's respond with the Phoenixes. War Prism is very low. It's a recall. Creator gets out. So nice move here by Creator. He was able to sneak out, able to depower the Robo. Now it's time to push. Oh my god, the force fields. Thankfully, Creator, he's able to pick up. Saves the Immortals. Our fire taking a lot of hits. Creator still looking for another way out. Takes down the prism. Nice pickup. And Creator is all in. Uh, he's completely all in with this. Look at the supplies. Immortal count in favor of Arrow Fire. Meanwhile, that is 15 Stalkers. Hey, Creator, he can still pull this off. The army supplies are quite comparable. Shield Batter is on the way for Arrow Fire. Phoenix is coming in from behind. Ideally, again, Arrow Fire, he wants that War Prism. Catches him for reinforcements. Not bad. Gets one Stalker. Gets two. Gets three. <laughs> three Stalkers go down. Phoenix is they coming from behind. They're going for the Prism. They get essentially the main armies do clash. There's the overcharge. Phoenix is they collapse on the Immortals. And they can lift up all three. And, and Creator is just being picked apart. He just cannot push in. He cannot break this position. And Arrow Fire with the upset. GG gets called. And Arrow Fire will take the series at 2-1. to one. GG. GG. Well played. Congratulations to Arrow Fire for claiming the PvP. A very intense PvP as well. But again, there was some unfortunate moments for Creator. Game two, Creator. He saw the pro he saw that the pylon was missing. He thought it was a fake proxy pylon. He got punished by the proxy oracle here in game two. Sorry, here in game three. Arrow Fire. He committed to the all in, and it was brutal that Creator. He lost two stalkers at the start of the game for free. Didn't get anything for it. Lost two stalkers. Lost map control. He was stuck in his main base, and Arrow Fire was able to expand and take an economic lead from there. GG. Well played. Congratulations, Arrow Fire. Meanwhile, a shout out to sort of oh. Oh my god, god, papi god, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you had a great ladder session. Hope you're enjoying your time in South Korea. And congratulations as well. I think I've already said it uh, before in your chat. But uh, congratulations uh, on, on you know, all things that are happening IRL with you. Uh, on getting engaged or, you know, soon to be married. Crazy stuff, happy crazy stuff. So congrats, congrats. We're all happy for you. We're all happy for you. Este sordo. And uh, yeah, with that, GG. GG well played. Arrow Fire, he will advance on into the next round, and we will follow him into his next opponent. The question becomes, who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? Exclamation mark. Be in the chat if you guys want to have a look back yourselves. 